you know, even as I was listening to you, what came to my mind is, uh, so I think in the future, can we say that, you know, colleges and our education system in general will have to look at this entire system of scoring children, mm. right? Scoring youngsters. I think, is that going to crumble? Because I think the parameters are going to change. It's not more about, you know, the power of... Um, what to say, how much information I know and how quickly I can bring it forward, in, yeah. whether it's three hours or one hour or whether it's a viva that I'm going to participate in. Yeah. I think uh, the future is going to be more like, you know, how good a team player I am, yeah. how I'm helping others in the classroom thrive, you know, how I'm teaching somebody how to use chat GPT or, you know, yeah. all those so-called soft skills yeah. or life skills, I think, would come in the forefront. Yeah. And... Um, do you think our uh, next gen, they're ready to really be flexible and human? <laughs> or will it look like not worth it, boss? Why should we even do it? I, I You know, we are becoming more and more nuclear. Yeah. Like it's just me, mine, myself. It's like I don't even need a boyfriend or a girlfriend. I have, I have Netflix or I have this. I'm creating a safe heaven for myself. So do you think the students... Are, Why do I need soft skill when an yeah. AI can be my partner? Yeah. Like so, yeah, I I do find uh, your question fascinating because of the idea that um, there is a sense of originality of thought that like, oh, is it going away? Is it is that going to be a problem? People using the word downfall to it, you know, oh, <laughs> humanity, you know, yeah. our whole civilization is going through a downfall. We are surrendering ourselves to AI. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but it's it's. <sighs> Uh, I I feel that's uh, that's such a shame to to look at it that way. Uh, look at young uh, kids from London trying to make sure that the train goes past the station mm -hmm. or chimney sweepers. Mm -hmm. uh, when the machine came in, uh, did those people say that? Oh wow, you're losing your job. These machines are taking our jobs away. Mm -hmm. the same thing with AI coming up mm -hmm. and saying that oh, it's going to kill originality. Uh, from a philosophical point of view. What is original? When was the last original thought? I I don't think so. For in in a in a postmodernist world, I highly doubt an original thought has come up to uh, uh to the plate. It is a myriad of multiple thoughts, just like mixing and 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 just yeah. The the first version of the recycled version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whether it that's is, the closest original yeah, thing. Whether it is academia, mm -hmm. even when we are citing uh, uh, other scholars, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that also is hey. This idea makes sense. I am connecting this to here mm -hmm. in order to expand on it and add more to it right. by giving it new life, right? And and it's the same uh, uh, conversation with originality when it comes to different social media platforms. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, let them use AI. Let them use ChatGPT. Uh, uh, yes, it will kind of take away from the fact that, oh, this is not original anymore. But then again, what is? You can't decide on the fact that this is original, that other thing is not you can do is create an environment where they can critically look at those aspects and say that, well, if I have taken it from this source without crediting it, or I have taken this this source uh, verbatim by copy-pasting it, I don't think that it is not original, but it is not my own work. And if that we are able to create, where uh, uh, that a process of thought, then I think it is a good enough job. Then because they're able to utilize those skills on top of the soft skills that you were talking about, right. they'll be able to live a much more holistic life. And yes, uh, this this whole idea of because of technology coming, uh, uh, kids don't want to have a, a kind of relationship that you were talking about. And, and, and also a future where, um, you know, today you have the unsuccessful bunch of people who have to prove themselves yeah. through various interviews and all that. So you're scanned and then you're kind of put in yeah. a category, right? But what if the future, because of AI and all this, um, you know, the performers or, you know, this category of people who, if I can jokingly use the word nerds, right? What Will there be a stage where mm. they will have to prove themselves so saying, no, this is my original work. I have really worked hard to come up with this story. Yeah. Because you see, I don't see much of problem with STEM subjects because it really helps to have technology there. But when it comes to literature, poetry, and all those aspects, you know, the arts and culture, 
uh, wouldn't it be like a disservice for somebody who's an artist and who has a body of work and then, you know, you're living in a world where everybody assumes, okay, it's all chat GPT and it's oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, technology driven. Okay, the painting is oh, yeah. created by your particular tool. So would we reach a point where these artists will have to prove and say, okay, it's my original work. It's not, and... it's not chat GPT certified, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I, I, I mean that. I like the usage of the word chat GPT certified. <laughs> so my original work also has to go via chat GPT. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me how much of it is plagiarized. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and the thing is actually that plays a larger conversation as to how much you have, uh, uh, commodified these kind of acts of art, right? When Dadaism came out uh, uh, in the early art history movement, where it was art for art's sake, it was not art that is going to be put up on walls for, for museums to be looked at. Um, it's that is a perception that a piece of artwork that you make, no matter how terrible it might look, but the moment you put it uh, uh, on a very fancy wall in an art museum, the immediate perception of that particular piece of art changes. Like, oh, wow, it has to be something meaningful. <laughs> Otherwise, why would it be here? And those, those uh, uh, points of authority where we look at like, oh, it is here because of a certain process has gone through that deems it to be a good work of art. It is a news anchor who has done years and years of journalism that talks about a certain piece of information and we assume it to be true or assume it to be in our benefit mm -hmm. because they're in that position. Mm -hmm. But it is the other way around. It is because of, of uh, uh I guess breaking down those structures uh, through corruption, through power, through through various other moves, where these people have uh, uh, taken home, right? Where they're going to come here and just say things like, uh, "Yeah, anything that is written uh, on your own has to be has to be taken through a Chat GPT sensor to say that it is not Chat GPT's work." Yeah, but why are we in this position? Because you did not make policies to make sure that arts were taken care of, literature was taken care of, uh, humanities was taken care of, because you, for the longest time, looked down on a certain subject and the kids who take it because that, oh, it's it's your final choice. You didn't have anything else. And now when they're looking at, oh, my artwork, my face, my identity is being taken away without my consent for someone else's content, I need to do something. Well, yes, policies should be made. Yes. Uh, uh, certain ways the state can interfere without making it difficult for the people themselves mm -hmm. to make sure that uh, uh, chat GPT or anything, artificial intelligence or machine learning uh, uh, does not ruin somebody's job or somebody's uh, uh, art, uh, so to speak. Yes. Until that happens, it is going to be a very difficult process. It always is. And again, Technology as it is was not something bad. It's now people see this to exploit other people. And then it comes back to the idea that at the core of, of bad technology or news around bad technology, you peel a layer, you'd see a bad person behind it yes. who did not know, who did not care or, or who dismissed uh, what everybody else was saying True. because they think that they know better or they can exploit somebody else. Yeah, yeah. That's why it's very closely connected. That's a lot of food for thought.